Hey, how you doing? We are in Proverbs chapter 6, today verses 12 through 19. So, here we go. A scoundrel and villain who goes about with corrupt mouth, who winks with his eye, signals with his feet, and motions with his fingers, who plots evil with deceit in his heart, he always stirs up dissension. Therefore, disaster will overtake him in an instant. He will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. There are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to Him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rush into evil, a false witness who pours out lies, and a man who stirs up dissension among brothers. So, look at that. First, you know, the scoundrel and the villain you know, who's this winking with the eyes, signaling with the feet. This is the hook. You know, there's the night crawler that the walleye wants to bite. There's the hook in it. This winking, this signaling with the feet, this clearly indicates there's a hook, you know. This is the evil person who is plotting against others, who's willing to hurt other people for their own personal gain. And a lot of times, we're willing to hurt people way more than the benefit that they receive. You know, like... You steal from somebody, the amount of damage you do to someone is way more than the benefit you get from what you've stolen. Like, don't be like that. Um, and then there's the, therefore disaster will overtake him in an instant. He will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. You know, like, ah, that's no good. So, you know, basically it's live by the sword, die by the sword. You know, you want to live by deceiving people, by hurting people, by ruining people. It's going to come get you. So don't be like that. Live honestly, do the right thing, not naive and stupid, but honest and doing right and trying to help others, having your heart in the right place, then it's going to work out for you. And then we get this very famous passage, six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to Him. What are these things? Haughty eyes. What does that mean? That's talking about arrogance, the negative pride, you know, bad pride. I think there's good pride, you know, like trying to do a job well and feeling satisfied at the end of the day when you did good work, You're proud of your work, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but when you're like, yeah, I'm way better than those people, those losers, you know, like, okay, now you're arrogant. Now you're into the wrong kind of pride. That's the haughty eyes thing, looking at others, you know, as less than you, looking down on others. That's haughty eyes. A lying tongue, that's pretty straightforward. Um, just, you know, lying deception, not uh, speaking the truth. And then none of this loophole lying stuff. One of the things that I noticed when I first became a Christian was Christians, well, it's technically not a lie. And like, yeah, you're trying to deceive somebody. That's the same thing. Lying tongue. Um, I didn't lie. I just didn't say the truth. That's lie of omission. You're lying. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, Someone who's willing to harm someone in an unjust way. That's, God does not like that. A heart that devises wicked schemes. Someone who, who thinks the solution is a wicked scheme. This will make my life work. This wicked scheme. That, that God does not like. That is something that is detestable to God. Feet that are quick to rush into evil. You know, and it. Even if you get ensnared, at least hesitate. <laughs> like feet that are quick to rush into evil, being ready to do evil, that's not good. That's not good at all. A false witness who pours out lies. So we got the lying tongue. We got the false witness who pours out lies. Lies is in there twice. You know, six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. Lying's in there twice. Boy, God is a God of truth. The devil's native language is lies. Let's not speak the devil's language, let's speak God's language. And then a man who stirs up dissension among brothers. That's the last one. So people who create strife, dissension, you know, drama, because uh, they just can't live a, a, a life that's productive and meaningful and take those steps and it can be a little too boring for them. So they need to stir up some drama and create some problems. Let's not be part of any of these. No pride, no lies. No hurting other people to get ahead. No thinking that 
this wicked scheme is going to be the solution to my problems, not being ready to do evil, even, you know, be ready to do right. Um, more about lies and then stirring up dissension between people. Like, let's just not be like that. That's not who we want to be. So let's pray for wisdom so that we can live right by God and not do any of these yucky, icky things. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray you'd continue to give us wisdom. Help us to see those things from that list that you despise in the, in the right way from your perspective. Why is lying so dark and evil in your eyes? Why is shedding innocent blood, you know, and then, you know, taking advantage of others, pressing our advantage to the detriment of those for our own benefit? Why do you see that as something detestable? Help us to see and understand, stirring up dissension. Like, why is that so powerfully dark and evil in your eyes? Why are you so against that? Lord, help us to share your heart. Um, let us never think that these things are okay. But Lord, I don't want us to just be following rules like, oh yeah, that's right. Stirring up dissension among brothers is wrong. I forgot. Let's have it be deep in our hearts and understand it at the depth of our soul, guarding our hearts from you know, thinking wicked schemes is the solution, thinking that there's another way beyond walking in your righteousness and your truth. Help us to see that that is the best. And just walking in an upright, honest, you know, not prideful, but, you know, sacrificing, willing to help others. Lord, help us to see that this is the answer and give us that wisdom and understanding so that we can truly walk in your ways. Father, encourage us with all these things. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.